Hi, welcome to the part 4 of installing Wolf HP system. In this video we will go through adjustment of parameters. So let's start. First make sure that your nozzle and hopper proper alignment is proper. We will not show it in this video, maybe later we will also make separate video on this topic. Our target energy is 1.48 joules, which is appro approximately 400 fps with 0.2 gram BBs. Okay, so we are shooting too high. Now we will decrease the pressure until we get to our target energy which is 1.48 joules and we will add additional approximately 5% more so we will get to approximately 1.56 joules. Okay, still a little bit too high. Decreasing pressure a little bit. Less. Okay, shooting. Now we have 1.57 joules, which is approximately 5% more than our target energy. Now we can continue with decreasing valve dwell. I will decrease it from 5 milliseconds down to 1.1 millisecond. Let's see. Okay, now we will decrease it to 0 0.8 milliseconds. Okay, we decrease it down to 0 0.6 milliseconds. Okay, we decrease it down to 0 0.8 5 milliseconds. Okay, decreasing a little bit more to 0 0.45 milliseconds. Decreasing to 0 0.4 milliseconds. Okay, so now we have our valve dwell set up, we will continue with decreasing nozzle dwell. We decrease it from 25 milliseconds down to 12 milliseconds and we will decrease it until we see any issues like drop in FPS, increased, uh, decreased uh, consistency or misfeeding. We will now decrease it down to 8 milliseconds. We decrease it down to 6 milliseconds. Okay, I'm noticing some drop in FPS. We can go a little bit less now, 5 milliseconds. Let's, let's try it. Okay, so we can try a little bit less now, 4. Three milliseconds. Okay, so now I notice a really big drop in FPS and different sound and also inconsistency. So we are down to three milliseconds and now we will increase it back up 
from about two to four milliseconds but this battery is now full so i will add additional safety margin so i will go up to 10 milliseconds so we are on the safe side Okay, so now we can proceed with optimizing of BB dwell. We will go down from 5 milliseconds to 2 milliseconds. And note if I will notice some issues, then we will increase it back up. I will go down to 0 milliseconds. Okay, I will, now we are on zero, we will go up to two milliseconds. I will increase it back a little bit more to 4 milliseconds okay so i think this is it for this setup we basically finished on nozzle dwell on 10 milliseconds Wild well 0.4 milliseconds and BB dwell 4 milliseconds. This is basic setup uh, for this particular gun and yours might differ so the numbers might be different. Take note that in this setup we used full battery and if you would set up it with uh, nearly empty battery the setup would be more reliable because then you don't need to worry if battery is either full or empty you should be checking is full auto mode because if you get uh, error like high temperature error of nozzle on full auto mode you need to increase nozzle dwell by let's say one or two milliseconds to get rid of this issue and now what we can try to increase rate of fire to see how much we can get We'll go up to 25 RPS, set it, set it on FCU. So, as you can see, we can reach 25 RPS with this setup. If you want to go higher, you can try using uh, a bigger or stronger battery and this will give you higher RPS. You can also then decrease some parameters, but also decreasing parameters has its own limit because obviously you will have uh, then issues with consistency. Uh, another thing that majorly impacts uh, rate of fire is uh, magazine uh, and also some hop-ups might give you better or worse results so this is it for how to install wolf hpa system in m4 platform gun and we might do some additional videos uh, which will introduce uh, tips and tricks for improving accuracy and some other stuff so Take care and goodbye.